Ben Davis. I am originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and uh, I uh, went to high school, uh, just grew up pretty much in West Philadelphia. And um, I grew up in, um, in that area, it's kind of like a, it, well, it wasn't inner city, <laughs> not kind of, it was an inner city. Uh, it was a rough neighborhood, but I didn't, I, I felt safe there because everyone knew each other. And uh, it, 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 it was nice. I first got into art when I was probably, well, when I was a child watching cartoons, um, like uh, the Flintstones, uh, the Jetsons, Bugs Bunny. And I also got into comic books as well, um, uh, DC and Marvel, but mainly I gravitated towards Marvel. I just, I like their superheroes a lot better. Um, and uh, so from then on, I started just drawing little stuff, little by little over the years. And once I got to junior high school, I started uh, drawing my own comic books. And uh, that was really fun, trying to create action poses while telling a story at the same time and trying to write a story, which was pretty uh, challenging. But when I really got serious into artists, when, uh, when I was in high school, my 10th grade teacher, uh, Alan Edmonds, uh, Parkway High, Parkway Zeta to be exact. Um, uh, he took us uh, to the Philadelphia Museum of Art uh, in 1985, the year Mark Chagall passed away. And uh, it was his life's work in that museum. And it was just hundreds, hundreds of pieces of, uh, of his artwork, Chagall's work. And um, from, the, I was just, um, just really, just so blown away by his artwork. It just, the, the colors in my jaw just, just dropped. It was like, wow. And it was just so colorful. And uh, he was, well, as we were walking through, the, he was just telling us the story of the background of each piece. He was just well educated in the arts. And uh, I think out of the seven people, it only it resonated with one person, and that person was me. And once I left the uh, museum, uh, uh, Days later, I, it was just the, I just had like that defining moment, and and it was just like I want to be an artist, but I didn't know how to go about doing it. But I was just so into it, into drawing, um, also into the superheroes, and I was taking also some weekend courses, uh, drawing as well, some drawing courses on weekends, and like those Saturday afternoons. And I did this all the way up until graduation. And um, from there, I went to East Carolina University. Uh, years later, I moved out to California. Um, and I took some graphic design courses, which I, uh, which I was doing also at East Carolina, something to fall back on. And one freelance job led to another, to another tour. I saw some work on a television show in the background, and I was wondering, how can I do that? And I figured, you know what, um, I live in LA, so let me uh, call some, uh, let me call up some, not call up studios, let me write the studios. And uh, like Backstage West or Hollywood Reporter, they had, a, at the time, they had listings of uh, pilot shows and uh, existing shows that are already on the air. And I would write the studio to the uh, art director because I didn't know what the set decorator was that job title was at the time, so I would write, write the art director. And I wrote a hundred letters to a um, hundred different shows, and I only got one response, and that was from Six Feet Under. And uh, uh, the set decorator, well, the art decorator passed it on to the set decorator, and she liked what she saw, Rusty Lipskin, that was her name. She's retired now, but very nice woman. And she took three, and um, uh, they, I saw him on TV, it was really exciting for me. And then she was telling me about other art rental galleries that I could uh, use as well. Another venue to have my work seen uh, on a larger scale, a big, like on a big screen for movies and television. And eventually I was getting shows, well getting my work seen on television shows, I'm sorry. Um, such as uh, Parks and Recs, um, ER, um, Big Bang Theory. Uh, the Bill Engvall show, there was a few more, but, um, and 
it, it helped build my resume and um, it paid well, as, which is always nice. And then uh, I got a show at a college. This was like in probably 2008. And I never showed it at a college before. The gallery, um, the gallery director, she said, Lynn, do we start drawing more? You can draw. And I was a very impatient person at the time. I just, drawing just took so long. And, and I'm a sucker for detail. That's, and it took, takes, took even longer. But I liked the outcome and I, I liked the process of it. So it was fun. And eventually I kind of trained myself to uh, get in that mode, in that routine where it's just second nature now. So um, I, I love drawing now. I, I, uh, I liked it then, but it just took so long. I had to get over the impatience part. I had to get that impatience out of me So to do that. When I start a piece of artwork, I, I like to concept it out first or a series. I like to concept the series out, make some notes. What can I do to make, how can I make this work um, visually? Um, when, I, when I'm doing like a large scale drawing, I would probably do some sketches, um, just how to, how to make, uh, where to put um, figures in a certain area, how to make it look aesthetically pleasing and conceptual at the same time. But I like to uh, make notes or something like that, jot down notes um, before I do uh, the actual piece of artwork, before it even goes on um, paper or on board. So, um, theoretically, the work is already done before I actually start executing with my hands. I have an idea how, uh, how I want, like certain pieces, how I like for them to look. And a lot of times, <laughs> I, I don't. So, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm sketching like, do I want this here, do I want this here? Or I'll just draw this image here. It, it's nice. I've shown with some big name artists at an art center in New York, but it wasn't about the venue. It's with the artists that I was showing with at the time. Um, it's, it's not about the venue to me. It's, a, it's not about the, the name brand of the venue, so, so to speak, but it's nice to show in a museum, don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't matter. It's, um, it's all about showing the work, be, having it seen by uh, many different eyes. So I'm, uh, I'm at a community college at South Texas College in McAllen, Texas, it's a small college, it's a small town, but I had the opportunity, opportunity to show in South Texas, and that's a pretty big deal to me. So, people in this region have not seen my work. So, I think that's pretty cool. I try to bring my personal experiences in uh, everyday life, which is my work is about everyday life. Um, and some, some of them are personal experiences, and uh, viewers, Sometimes their personal experience is parallel to mine within the work, and that's how they, uh, that's how they can see the world.